welcome to Tuscany, Mr. Mayor. Uh, when the restaurant is a family-owned restaurant, and we want everybody to feel as a family. As soon as you walk into the restaurant, you feel the warm walking inside, and every, all my customers feels as a family member. And that's what we do. We run as a family members, and we want all our customers to be part of a family. Your service is just uh, second to none, and the food is just marvelous. I mean, uh, I, I just I enjoy it so much that my wife and I uh, we come uh, as often as we can, and heard a lot of great things about Tuscany. How long have you been in the restaurant business? In the restaurant business since I came in the states in 1990. When I came to this state, my uncle had a restaurant, so. He tell me you go into the kitchen. So since 1990, I'm in the restaurant business. Sir, the word is getting out about the service and the food quality here. It seems that every time I come, the crowd gets larger and larger for lunchtime and for dinner. So tell me, what are your hours? Our hours, it's uh, right now we are seven days, open seven days, 11 to 9.30, Friday and Saturday to 10.30 if the folks they want to sit down with a uh, bottle of wine, candles to enjoy a little more time. Hopefully in the future we're going to have even some entertainment. Well Phil, talking about service, you're making me hungry oh, and yeah. so I'm ready for us to go in the kitchen and you show us uh, what to cook in this segment of Cooking with the Mayor. Sounds good. All right, yep. let's go. Since we walk into the kitchen, this we have a full stuff kitchen. We come in early in the morning, we prepare everything ready. So before we open the door, we have to have everything ready from the bread, uh, mushroom stuff, you know, what we need. As you see, we got the sauce ready. We cook our sauce for four hours. We really? boil, we take all the acids, and that's the reason everybody likes the sauce and we have so many customers that come and they say oh we can't add the red sauce because we have a hard work and i always says try it and let me know they always come back and says i never had hard work the reason we use the fine tomatoes import from italy but the more important is cooking it the way we're cooking it for four hours when you boil it all the acids comes out so really? if, when you take the acids that's you have the perfect wow. tomato and that makes a different sauce now, is that how you make your pasta fagioli? Correct. Really? Yeah, from the same sauce. And Four we hours. use, that. We use and that sauce for everything else, all our dishes, most of the dishes. Wow. Wow. Thank you for the passion you put into cooking. Yes. Now, let me just make sure I make it very clear. You won't get this anywhere else. Uh, this is authentic Italian food. Uh, to get the preparation that Phil and his family have put into preparing not just the food, but the quality of customer service that is uh, provided at each table is second to none. So I, I just want to say how excited I am about being here in your kitchen uh, and look forward to preparing uh, not only pasta fagioli, you hear that, pasta fagioli, uh, but also we're going to have some chicken Tuscany. This okay. is a, a kitchen prep. Okay. And as you see, we got all the stuff what we needed from the cheese, butter, mushroom, garlic, fresh basil, more important. Anything fresh, use basil. fresh basil. Then you got fresh shallots. A lot of our restaurants will not use the shallots. We will use shallots. Shallots makes a big difference. Even if you go nine attention, you will never cut yourself. Now, what kind of beans are these? This is Italian beans. I mean, Italian beans. European, I don't know how to bring it. That's European a, beans? So It's made for pasta fagioli. You can use even white beans. Okay. Uh, even black beans you can use, but most of them are white beans. Import white beans. So you can use any beans you want. But that's It's not hot right now. Okay. Okay. That's looking good. See? Comes out all the heat, taste the garlic, taste the garlic. 
Uh, I'm not going to get drunk, but... <laughs> <laughs> a little white wine? Yes. Okay. All right, now we're going to go a little touch of marinara. Pasta with this one. A lot of places we want it as this without pasta. But what we're gonna do it all the way with the pasta, the old fashioned okay, way. Bigger pieces, bigger like, pieces. Perfect. Like that or just to get that's good. Right. Cooking with the mayor gets violent. Yes. <laughs> you know, I did this at the family reunion and uh, it didn't turn out so good. Oh. That's good? Yes, so you can okay. just slide it to okay. the pan. Make sure that you wash your hands before you prepare food yes. for your guests right. or for yourself. Correct. <laughs> right, 600 So anything, even the pizza oven has taste to 600 degrees. Is that as so, hot as hot as your stoves would get? Yes. 600 degrees? Wow. So that should be almost ready. On top, we just put a little Parmesan cheese. Okay. And we got bring to, it over. Yeah, just uh, you can. No, you don't have to do. Just okay. bring it. You can get a spoon and just this spill it. Yes. And just, okay. And just go on top. Right. Of so sprinkle it over. Yes. Perfect. And yes. Okay. The way you tell it's ready, you see the bubbles comes everywhere and it takes a pattern, that tells you the meal is ready. Okay. So now right. we got the ready, we just got a and So it's ready because it's all the miniature bubbles. Yes. Okay. And this is all a right. fine serving right. of pasta fagioli. This is the first time I've ever made pasta fagioli. Now does it take the entire? Yes. Okay. Just a moment like to have some more actually. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh that looks delicious. Some parsley. You put it on top of the dish. Just with decoration and magnificent. Ready. Very well. Good job. Okay, well thank you. Alright. I uh present to you Passa Fagioli. So uh, my grandfather always said that a poor cook uh, doesn't eat his own food, so I am rather anxious to try this pasta fagioli. I know that it's yeah. still hot. Yes. You see the steam? Okay. Yeah, yeah. But some like it hot. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. One moment. Mm. Uno momo, momento, por favor. One. Mm. Mm. This is good. This is good, Phil. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I couldn't have, really, I couldn't have made it without you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the bread, we make daily breads every day, and that's a good bread. A lot of our customers like the bread, and they've been asking to to go. They want a bread to go. We have yeah. customer calling. We want a dozen, half a dozen. And the way we prepare, the way we put garlic, a lot of people like that one. It's a light bread. It, as you can see, it comes out where we make it daily. But it's not a heavy inside. It's just light. But it's a flavor and taste. So now it's time to make the chicken Tuscany. All right. Let's get our eggs. Okay. And then mine. You get yours. Okay. Okay. Time to make the chicken. Time to make Tuscan. the chicken. Fresh mushroom. A lot of people don't use the fresh mushroom. A lot of My wife the, loves the fresh mushroom. A lot of people mushroom. use the 
uh, frozen mushroom, canned mushroom, but we always use the fresh mushroom. It tastes big different. We got the beer butter. Butter, butter. okay. And now we have the What do you have it. under there? Oh, uh, we I'll have a rusted pepper. All right. Rusted pepper, so we're going to go one, two, three. So that's refrigerated? Yes. Right. All right. So now we got a hand of onions. Onions. All right. We get the salt, pepper. Salt, pepper. Salt, pepper. Is that sea salt or just salt? Just salt. Okay. And now we get the olive oil. Everything we do. Everything we do. All right. We're ready. Now we can go with it. Okay. Right. Stop cooking. Okay. Oh. You can, you can, now, now that's a fire. <laughs> now that's a fire. Okay, you see, now you can do it. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Listen. A more. There you Whoa. go. There you go. Oh, mama mia! With olive oil. Okay. And we got our spices. Now what's this? This is a spices, Cajun spices. Cajun spice. Garlic, onions mix up. So. With garlic and onion mix. Right. And we're gonna go two pieces of chicken. We go this way, up and down. Okay. And up and down. All right. Okay. That's about enough of that. Yes. Okay. Now we want to grab the filet chicken. Do one side and then flip it the other side. Okay. Okay. Ah. Uh, now let's see here. You, I'm very meticulous yes. about this. I want to make sure that it gets every portion of this chicken. Looks pretty good. Okay. Now right. let's go ahead and take it on over here. Okay. All right. And Ah, oh, now I'm not gonna get too no. close to the fire. Like okay. Be, there you go. Ah, Perfect. Okay. Now, so we're gonna go. Uh, we're not done yet. The chicken Tuscany. It takes now. Since we got the chicken ready, now we're gonna finish it. Okay. okay. So it's ready. Now we're gonna get to the best part. Okay. Again, the same way you did it before with the white wine. Now we call we use the brandy. Brandy. Yes. Brandy. So you do it. Just be careful a little bit inside. Okay. So you do it the other way. Same thing like you did it before. Oh. Now this is different. You can do it even too far away. You don't have to leave close. One more Ready? time. Okay. One more time. All right. Perfect. Okay. Now we yeah. need a, a little brandy on there. Yes. Of course. We, you, moderation. Brandy and moderation. We need it now. To get that one. We need a spoon of the marinara sauce. Get the fry pan. Okay. All right. And full scoop of marinara. Two. One. One. Okay. A full scoop. Yes. Oh. Mm. Is right. anyone getting hungry now? All right. Yeah. The now, the camera crew is getting hungry. All right. <laughs> now we're gonna need the heavy cream. Heavy cream. Oh. All right. And salsa. Now we can go to the fire. Okay. Let's finish it. Alright. And we were cooking. That's going to make the sauce. The special sauce. We always you it's getting cooked. In the meantime, we're going to change the chicken. We can okay. just flip the grill. You want to do it? Alright. Perfect. The chicken. Uh, see how it comes? Oh, perfect. Yeah. We can take the other two. They're ready. We just oh yeah. uh -huh. set okay. it here. You yeah, just set it anywhere close oh. to here. Yeah. Just be careful. You're gonna go All right. Okay. okay. As it comes out, okay. people ask the Parmesan cheese. So. Yeah. That is a favorite. Right. Yes. Yeah. We give choice to customer. They can have the chicken Tuscany with any pasta they want. We have a uh, fettuccine pasta. We have linguine. We have angel hair. We have spaghettini. Rigatoni and a ziti noodle. So they can have any pasta they want with the same meal. So now, see what, would, what kind of pasta would you like.
Rigamomi? Rigamomi? Oh, yeah. That sounds good. Okay. You know, I thought he was going to say something yeah. about Chef Bardi or something. And now we get Okay. Right there? Yes. Okay. okay. Yes. Okay. There you go. Mm. Mm. See the taste, the smell. Yes. We're not going to cut all the way to the chicken. Okay. We're just going to cut sideways. And you do the rest. So are you severing it or yes. not? Just halfway? Yes, halfway. Okay. That will look different. When you cut it all the way through, and the pieces go around will not look good. So now okay. I'm going to sew the best. And the rest. Very well. The dramatic effect uh, to ensure that your plate looks as delicious as the contents on your plate. Magnificent. It's fitting that we bless the food uh, before I consume it. You get that feel yes. before I consume it? Is it? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, that would be unfair. These folks have worked so hard behind the scene uh, that I think if it's okay with you, uh, that we share it if it's okay with them. Yes. <laughs> Phil, I, I, you know, in all of your food and the service that your family renders, you and your wife and uh, all of the family here, uh, I think uh, it is very apparent uh, that it's not just a good food but it's a heart that uh, you have a sense of place here. And so uh, I encourage everybody uh, that loves authentic Italian food to come down and try uh, Tuscany's. And you won't regret it. And I certainly hope that uh, I'll have the opportunity to see you here. So after you get a good meal at church, come on and get a good meal here. We'll see you then. Thanks for being a part Thank of you. Cooking with Ma the Mayor. Thank you, pleasure. Thank you, Tuskegee. Thank you.